Welcome to the Glebe Valhalla, named for the Hall of Immortality where Viking heroes found their heaven. For great value and a wide and varied range of films, the Valhalla. time I came here was when I was about 17 or 18 and um, somehow a Valhalla program had found itself onto our fridge door and when I was living in Strathfield and I'd never been to Glebe so um, we decided to come with a few friends on the program it said that if you got dressed up that you'd be led into the film for free and Rocky Horror Picture Show was showing so we thought we'd all come along in here and um, see it so we all got dressed up in black mostly and um, came along and sure enough they let us in for free and we arrived and uh, found that there were a whole lot of other people here all dressed in black as well and we all sat um, on the front, um, in the front of the cinema facing the stage and it was great because when the time walk um, came on everybody got up onto the stage and danced around and had a really good time and people had um, newspaper and water and flat um, rice and it was just really great that you could come to a place like this. And about the Valhalla is its long-term movie program. When we first started here 15 years ago, we were renovating the cinema by day for about 12 hours a day, and then we'd go home and spend about six hours each night laying out the first program. We had 12 people from Melbourne staying in my very small flat, and every night for three weeks, we'd stick tiny pieces of paper to a giant board with pieces of milliner's glue. It was an incredibly arduous uh, process. Anyway, at the end of three weeks, Peter Castaldi, who now is a major film critic, um, laid out the last tiny piece, got it just in place and went, ta-da, and knocked a coffee mug all over the whole layout. filed out the cinema which we call um, out the office which we call the gossip file and it's got industry gossip and audience response and stuff and I brought up something which is cute in it to show you today it's a letter from a patron from a group called popcorn patrons opposing potato chips and other ruminating noises this person suggesting that in art house cinemas we should segregate not so much popcorn eaters as potato crisp crunches and set them aside in a different area in the cinema and they've got a critics response from David Stratton for the movie show and he's meant to go bravo 
Um, so that's like a typical audience response for the Valhalla. cinemas this building allegedly has its own ghost I'm not sure if I believe that story myself I've never really seen any hard proof of it but uh, other projections who've worked here have mentioned feeling a presence or feeling like they're being watched and sometimes coming in one day finding something off that was left on the night before or vice versa I'm a bit skeptical but if you gave me the choice between uh, working a 24-hour shift straight or spending a night alone in here in the dark I'd definitely take the 24-hour shift Feel so relaxed. 